Welcome back to Teleview's Virtual Neaf Booth. I'm David Nagler, president of Teleview Optics, and we're here to answer our blog readers' questions. Frank's an imager, and he wanted to know if we could make our fast PetsVal refractors even faster, like photographic lenses, so that we wouldn't need reducers. And I think the best person to answer this question is the guy who designed the telescopes, my dad, Al Nagler. Thank you, David. Glad to share with you. And I'd also like to thank uh, Frank for commenting that our NP127IS at F52 is about the best you can find. I agree. Our imaging system telescopes are designed to be photovisual. On the visual side of the equation, the objective needs to show no color when operating at powers high enough to see the diffraction limit. Visually, the diffraction limit is determined by the aperture. As a camera lens, the field has to be flat, and the maximum resolution, or the smallest spot size, is defined by the F number. A camera lens does not have to meet the diffraction-limited visual performance standards to achieve its goals. We've designed the NP101 and 127IS scopes to be as fast as possible while still maintaining the highest photovisual performance. For imaging alone, we can maintain the performance while increasing resolving power and field size with a dedicated reducer. There is no intrinsic reason <clears throat> why a faster scope would perform any better than a slower scope with a properly designed focal reducer. Frank, I'm going to give you a little sneak preview. Now that newer high-resolution sensors are coming to market, uh, I'm redesigning our 0.8x NP reducer to take advantage of the smaller pixel, larger format sensors. In the case of the NP127IS, the reduction turns the 660 millimeter f5.2 into a 514 millimeter f4 without loss of sharpness. So that way, we can have uh, the performance of a more complex telescope without redesigning our basic uh, Petzval telescope that works so well. Thank you.